Hey, it's you! Come on in! We have our first soap today from Crown and Crane. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We're the Barbershop Duet! And we are because of you! We're yes, so grateful you're here! Coming. Come on in, your chair's always waiting for you. So today our mention is swag. Mm -hmm. If you might have noticed, today's episode is sponsored by the Razor it Company. It is. And Every artisan we have found has some kind of little Fun thing that you can get to help yeah. rep them if you like. We have some gentlemen's mm -hmm. nod shirts. Right. And, and I know PAA has tons of shirts. Tons like, of cool stuff so to wear. And this is uh, this is her Izzy shirt. Mark, is mm -hmm. Right? If you are constant viewers of the show, you know the story of, mm -hmm. uh, of world-renowned World artist, artist Izzy. Izzy. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The other reason that we wanted to mention swag today is that omnipotent question that we are all mm -hmm. waiting to get. What's that shirt about? Right? What's well, let me tell you, Mr. Razor Bumps. Come over to here and mm -hmm. sit in my office, right? That, y'all. It just right? gets the conversation started about, wait, what is that? And why should right? I try it too? And even like the Never Alone t-shirt. Like, it's just different ones have cool messages. And if yeah. we obviously are heartfelt by what's behind it. So when someone right? asks while you're waiting in line at the store, you might as well have a little chat about what your I shirt's for. It can, it can start such a great conversation. Even just talking to Joel's girlfriend about Never Alone made her cry. Right. The also, fact that that many people could come together and have your back. And, yeah. you know, it's just, it's a nice uh, way. You don't have to walk around with your razors, but it's a nice way to have a little so <laughs> something on your, your back. So distributors, rep your artisans, rep the people in Give this world that do the amazing work, right? Or even we have ones that for our Thirsty Badger blog right, that yeah. we reference all the time. So it's just that. Y'all just kind of fun to have the uniform. Right. It's a little walking a advertisement, too. So it helps them in the long run. Even. Yeah. yeah. And I'm excited for our soap today because it's a brand new artisan. What do you it know is? about Crown and Crane? I don't know much. I have seen their labels go by a lot and every time I see that I'm like oh that's a new scent Beautiful I haven't seen that one go labels, by before right yeah. just sort of this like subtle dignity to mm -hmm. the, the artistic design of all their labels I just love them. and this one Jason reached out at the very beginning and sent us a box with four soaps in it and this is our last one in that box to yeah. finally open we've, we've waited we tried to pace ourselves a bit but this is the bottom of the glass mm -hmm. yeah it but is. we are super excited because yeah. this just seems like an absolutely magnificent soap let's, let's meet it, it. All right, so there's not too much on the sales page, mm -hmm, but we hint. do know <laughs> that this scent was inspired by Dolce & Gabbana, The One. Oh, fun. Ooh, it's an homage. An homage. Okay. I love it. I don't think we have anything yet by Dolce & Gabbana. You know, I don't think so either. I've definitely seen other things go by, but I don't think in our den that we actually have something yeah. yet. Yeah. I'm super excited. I'm always excited to discover a new artisan because you don't right? know what the base is going to be like. Mm -hmm. You don't know what the intensity of the soap is going to be like. And knowing it's a collab with the Razor Company, clearly it's a scent that they approve. So that's kind of fun too. And we do know that Crown & Crane is a beloved artisan mm -hmm. in the community. So yeah, we'll hey, sorry we've taken more. this long, but let's do it. Let's have an unboxing. The blue tape the from tape. the Rays of Company. Hey, ready? Is it really the last one? It is. It's well, the last I one. feel like we should reread this. But now this. that I can see the bottom of the box, I can see that we got ourselves some serious stickers, y'all, for the shaving camera. We got stickers. I feel like we should reread this. And we may have, to, but uh, it was from July. Just so right. it's been a little while. So now, now it's time to take the last soap out of the box. Y'all, look at this. One box down for the piano. Mm -hmm. The piano breathes a small sigh of relief. Look at this. Okay. Beautiful Ooh, blue. blue. Hey. Oh, I love this oh. tub. Mm -hmm. Y'all, look at that gorgeous And then label. it also has a side one. Oh, that's oh. gorgeous, too. And it's got wrap around the outside. And sealed for your protection mm -hmm. with a label conveniently in English. Those are fun colors. Well, I, I it may know. be some kind of citrusy, blossomy something. A beautiful little Razor Company logo on it. It kind of reminds it. me of, you know, the Disneyland arbors that are everywhere. Right. It kind of has that little, like, fun time right. period. All right. I say we get down to business, and it is your turn. <laughs> Go. All right, seals for your you. protection. 
I have no idea what the original scent smells like. I don't either. So, uh, you know. We did not used to hang out in Sephora a lot, y'all, so we're not real educated on our friends. Unless we had to get makeup for the show time. That'd be the only time. Oh, I need a new eyeliner. That that actually is the only time. Right? (laughs) That's the only time I went in. Okay, ready? Those who like to see the poor. They'd get a little confused when I'd ask for, like, a brown lip color. They'd be like, okay. Yeah, sir. What do you need that for? All right, here we go. Take it in. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's a nice light. Kind oh, of. yeah, I do. I do get that it's an homage to something. I yeah, get that little yeah. colony hit. Then it's it's has a little floral, a little citrus. Yeah, straight off the puck, it does. It has a very nice, clean scent. Oh, and I do get a little of that. But you know that it is an homage to something. Yeah, okay. It definitely now, is comes it, through. Is it more fruity, more woody, more perfumey? What do you get? It's a lighter, brighter scent. So oh. I think it's. I mean, going off of something here, I'm guessing it's more of a citrusy something. Yeah. And there is a little floral that makes it more perfumey. Okay. But it doesn't get too strong. Right. And it has a very pleasant clean smell like if i smelt the perfume that this came from i probably would kind of vibe towards it i'm guessing i'm excited okay here that's we go. my first whiff here all Let's right see what you got odyssey one mm-hmm. here we go our first mm. dolce and gabbana homage i don't know see what you think oh mm-hmm. oh it's nice but i do feel like knowing that this was sent to us at the oh. very beginning of our journey that's a great scent to start I love this. I the love that with. it is light clean. It mm-hmm. is citrusy. It's smooth. It's mm-hmm. charming oh, and friendly. Right? Mm-hmm. And then I get underneath it all. Here's what's very cool. Sometimes it can be like sort of a dirty spiciness right, underneath. Right, right. Or sometimes this and that. No, 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 no. You know yeah. what I get? It's it's not crazy that I get 20%, 15%, 20% of a creaminess that grounds oh, this. Mm-hmm. And I've only said that about a small handful of our soaps, but I think about the top notes of this. Right, think right. about how it is these beautiful mm-hmm. like fruits. Brighter, and, fun. And, and a little bit yeah. of a wood and a little bit of a spiciness. Mm-hmm. And then to be grounded by like a nice light creaminess for yeah, me. Yeah, I get what like, you're saying. I Because that's why well, when you were asking the too? strength of it, I was kind of like, it's kind of staying in the middle. Like it right. doesn't take off too, too strong. Oh, it's delightful. It's delightful in the same way when I did used to go to like Tower Records and smell the right, latest okay. Calvin Klein cologne in the 80s and uh, 90s. Uh-huh. And with the CK colognes, everyone you smelled was so different and cool and beautiful. This is what I'm getting from this. It just hits you in that imaginative place where you're like, okay. whoa, I never would have thought of this on my own, but it's really delightful. It really is. And I, I get what you're saying by the creamy part. I think because it's a new soap to us, I wasn't sure if that was part of their base or if wow. that was actually part of the scent. Right. And you know what else I love? I love it when I don't get any particular scent notes at all. When uh, yeah, I first I'd have smell to it, force and guess them. That but... I really like the smell, but I. It's not like I can say, oh, this is an orange. Oh, this no. is a grapefruit. Oh, this is a this. No, right. it's not. It's not. It's, it's something not. something citrusy. Maybe it's, and it's got a little floral that's making it, but it's not a normal floral but that it's we run to. so its own character. It like, is. It's, it is. Oh, it's a, It's like describing Jimmy Stewart as a homo sapien. I mean, I guess. Right. Basically. But we got to pick and pull but, it apart uh, a little. Mm-hmm. Right. No, this is more than just these scent notes. This is something Right. And really I feel like, I, and again, I think it's probably going to change as soon as we lather it because some really do transform. I almost want. Under. Yeah, we go for it. Let's all build a ladder. Our... Oh, it's a harder show. Okay. Oh, this is our TRC 3D printed malleable uh, bowl here. I love this bowl, man. This bowl gets the job done. I'll tell you guys, we don't have one of these. It's kind of fun to all see kinds of colors. what 3D printing is bringing out. It's right? kind of cool. And the malleable ones have this kind of cool iridescentness to Yeah, them, it's hard on so camera, but there is a little sheen and then our yeah. Razor Company brush here. Little bougie for the bowl and a little coffee Since for Marcus. Since they sent us Let's... the bowl, we gotta bust out the goods. Oh, you know, it's such a cool bowl. Mine is a like a rainbow color bowl. Okay. Wow. You know, I I, I kind of was a little afraid that it would be like citrus distinguished. If that uh, makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. Did, you know what I mean by that. This is more of a fun creamsicle kind of a citrus yeah, for I, me. I, that's a good way to put it. You're right. It's not like the dapper side of a citrus cologne. It's the more fun side. Yeah, it, at first from the picture, I almost thought it was only going to be like springtime summery, but smelling oh, it, I feel no, like it could be... I could, I could smell a little frost on this citrus for sure. Right? Like, I, I do feel... Yes. It, no, and I think, oh yeah, hear my face. I think that's what makes it lovely, is I think all the other citruses we have are like dried or even like sun-baked or like it's, it has right, that sort of type. scent to it, a really sun-drenched citrus, right? This is the opposite. This I would describe as like a frosty 
citrus. And that's mm-hmm. what I love. And I think this might be our first that kind of has that for me. Yeah, there's almost like a, a different part of the, like a, that creamy side that you were talking about. It's yeah. almost a little more woodsy here, maybe? Oh. I don't know. See see what you think. Okay. Marcus that was meets just a the quick lather. uh, lathering up here. Now, I'm going to break a giant rule because we don't ever discuss lather here no. on the Barber Shop Duet. But I Our first crown and crane, see. so, you know. <gasps> so, little it's thing a happy that, that I've learned, right, about the lather is if it still feels like that you're moving around soapy water, you're not there yet. Mm-mm. If you literally feel like you're pushing yogurt around in this little dish, now you're set. Now you're good to go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, see what that brings. It's still it's still a lighter, kind of creamier, with a little twist on a citrusy, florally yes, something. The citrus comes out a little more in yeah. this. The uh, cream goes away yeah. a little more in this, mm-hmm. I feel like. But it's still there. It's still yeah. there, sort of grounding it, right? Oh, do wow. We, do we dare look at the scent notes and see what they... Uh... <sighs> okay, I'm ready. Putting up the white flag. What do you got on the back? Scent inspired by Dolce mm-hmm. & Gabbana, mm-hmm. the one, our scent profile begins okay. with the lovely citrus. Oh, grapefruit. grapefruit. Now, this ah. is not the tree outside my grandfather's house, y'all. This is a lovely But that grapefruit. might be actually what's on the, the label. The center of the mm-hmm. grapefruit, right? All right. Coriander. Yeah. That's what's it. different. That's love kind it. of fun. Yep. Got and it. then basil. Oh, just grounded a little bit in our barbershop month, y'all. Yeah, we noticed that here. basil got thrown into a lot mm-hmm. of them, and this is beautiful. All right. And then middle here. notes. Oh, this is fun. This is where it kind of twists. Yeah. Ginger. With cardamom. Uh huh. Ah. And I was right. It's the orange blossom. Orange blossom. I wondered. Sarah was right. I knew and it was a different flower. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm going to save this for go deeper, but what a California smell this yeah, is. Yeah, I'd and agree. I get that by reading this. Mm-hmm. And the base notes, amber, love yep. it, beautiful, spicy, mm-hmm. slightly sweet, rocky, tobacco. Yep. Got and it. Then cedar. It's a lighter wood. Set our cedars in this, mm-hmm. y'all. Beautiful. My favorite wood, I think. Yeah. Because it just, it has a way of a cedar smell. Like, think about the pencil sharpener when you're in grade school. It mm-hmm. almost has a way of being a cologne on its own. Like, it's right? just that beautiful mm-hmm. smell. So you start combining that with citrus and orange blossom and things that don't naturally go together. Yeah, you wouldn't have an orange tree next to a cedar tree, usually, next to a tobacco plant. Right. But you put those together in this. And the image I just keep getting is like that fresh linen in the wind. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it is, it's not right. hot and comfortable outside. No. There's a breeze. You're right. enjoying it. Like, I get the energy of spring coming through. And and this totally, y'all, is on my list of contenders for a scent that when somebody walked by me, and you've all had this experience, when you walk by someone, you don't necessarily get a waft of like, oh, that's a lovely cologne. No, Mm -hmm. you get a waft of like, who is that? Right? Who is that person? Because you don't sense it as a frag. You sense it as just part of them. Right, right. right. And there are certain colognes that won't do that. I mean, CK1 is a, you know, these are different things. Mm -hmm. This this could right. be just the normal smell of somebody amazing and clean yeah. and sophisticated and, and well put together. You know, the more we're learning about different frags and all the homages and stuff, like that to us, we found through Shave Soap. But it really is kind of fun to see who picks what right. and how to like bring them back oh, or recreate man, them. Man, I love this. And you know, at the end of the day, too, it does keep these classic, absolutely mm-hmm. beautiful perfumes and colognes alive. It does. Because sometimes they go away and mm-hmm. sometimes they get reformulated if the company gets bought out. Right, right. And thank God we have people like Crown and Crane and some of these artisans who are able to rebuild mm-hmm. them, sometimes even using mass spectrometers. Uh, we were listening right? to a listening podcast to from mm-hmm. Barrister and Manish. I mean, these people get serious, serious. about recreating mm-hmm. their sense. And thank God they do. Right. Because it's why I have a lot of the colognes that I grew up with reformulated in this world by these artisans. And this and, is how we're finding all the fun right, facts because we had no idea. You know? new ones and, and, and new perfumers. Like, I don't right? think I know anything by Dolce. No, so I don't think so. Phenomenal. Right? Whoa. Okay, so now we've got the magic list. Yes. And now we've got the wonderful ladder. Yes. Is that time to take it a little uh, We're going to take oh, a California sorry. fire pole all the way down to the basement. So, y'all, I don't know if any of you got to visit 
uh, Disney's California Adventure when it first opened for like mm-hmm. the first 10 years. But part of it was sort of designed to be like a World's Fair that was showcasing California. Right. All the different parts of California. Right. They not even just built Southern. A, tortilla, a working tortilla factory right there like right, in I the park that. And yes. things like that there was a movie created by Whoopi Goldberg um, that was like the California dream or something oh, like that. Okay, so yeah. when you first went into that park one of the things that they really showcased and they still do if mm-hmm. you know where to look is the citrus of California yes. because where you're standing in that park was at one time one of the our famous grove. historic orange groves mm-hmm. right and some of the trees are even still there if you know where to find right. them so what I love is that that place is super beautiful and nostalgic for me as is California of course mm-hmm. I spent my whole life here so the fact that we are just known for these sun-kissed orange crates, we're right. known for like citrus being supplied to the world. Mm-hmm. San Francisco, here I come. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is what this smells like. This and smells like our Central Valley. This smells right, like so because good. it has. It, they're all mixed in there, but the orange blossom to me is what really stands out. <laughs> right. And it's interesting because it has grapefruit, which really at the beginning we right. weren't really sure if you'd like that. Kind I of still reset. don't like actual grapefruit. I love what these <laughs> artisans here. do with it. And right. I feel like the coriander and the cardamom come together to ground it in what's classy yeah. and spicy about California, mm-hmm. because we don't go too crazy like patchouli and that kind of stuff because right. we don't get that cold mm-hmm. we stay warmer so it's going to be always even in the middle of winter the warmer smells and i think the tobacco the amber and the cedar right. have that covered just they perfectly. do and the little throw in of the ginger and cardamom right like it they does have some woodsy kind of spices going on right but they're all on that brighter side right. of the spectrum exactly so, so Jason, that clean fresh scent i know y'all are dealing with a michigan snowstorm right now but this <laughs> go crack yeah. this open because this will bring y'all right Right back out here to the California sun. Mm-hmm. If you like waking up in the morning to those sunny type shaves, mm-hmm. this has got you covered like you got a glass of sunny delight sitting right there on your bathroom counter. This it just, is beautiful. It really makes me smile. Like I do picture one of those really pretty days outside where you just want to be outside and enjoy it. There's sun on your skin. There's a gentle breeze. Yeah. And you're just having a good time smiling. Like Ooh. somehow this scent just takes me. And I know some people picture California and think that. Yeah. And you know what? This is a morning smell. This is a morning it's smell. Starting your I day off. Some that are afternoon, good. some are evening, mm-hmm. some are nighttime. But this, this will call to yeah. you from your pillow, y'all. This will get your day mm-hmm. started right. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be a dust bowl farmer and figure out there's nothing left for you in Oklahoma. Pack all your stuff up, folks, and jump on Route 66. And just about the time you get here and wonder what the hype is about, you just started a legacy for your family for generations to come on the West Coast of California because you were a pioneer and you just got your own. So head over to TheRazorCompany.com where you'll find this and a ton of other stuff I want. Well, I've had my shame with Odyssey One. It's a unique tallow in this soap, y'all, and I felt it on my face. It didn't have to be giant and foamy. It could just be beautiful and slick and right where I left it. You can put it in coats. It has a lovely combination of thickness and stickiness so that my razor blade feels really safe when it's on it. And just a luxurious feel to this crown and crane, much like their labels might indicate. Hey, we're going to be back. I think there's a peach one, Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to Messages! Hey, so we just experienced our very first chiseled face. Mm-hmm. And being one of the artisans who's on Amazon, we decided to have a giveaway for oh, y'all! Yeah. Who are within the reach of Amazon in the United States and Canada. So, if you are one of our subscribers to YouTube, go ahead and send us an email to we sent you at thebarbershopduet.com. Mention chiseled face mm-hmm. for a chance to win. And best of luck, Yay. check back on the March 17th episode to find out if you are our lucky winner. Beautiful. And as mm-hmm. we were talking about, I think our favorites very often lead you to a time and a place. Yeah. And I love that this brings you out to California. And for me, in the 20s, right? back when Hollywood that. was like six houses and a bunch of citrus, right? Like, well, and there's something about even the detail of the logo, like that type right. of awning. Like, I don't know what oh, it is, but I Classic California, like picture mm-hmm. an apothecary having right. that something kind of logo on outside. the side, right? Mm-hmm. Was... And it's kind of fun because we we just did all the whole Halloween and winter seasonals, and now we're approaching like, oh, February's coming. You know, right. there is a little spring's next, you know? Oh, as fun as a whiff from the candy store with all of the sophistication Ooh. of the country doctor who's meandering mm-hmm. down the lane. I mean, this has just got it all. Right? So if 
You have other requests from Crown and Crane. Clearly, after yes. busting this open and seeing this lather, we've got to add we some more. We are instant so, fans, and we are looking at the website today at all the beautiful labels yeah, and trying to figure out which ones we, we should do pick. next. So if you know, put your favorites in, and we'll make sure to cover them in the weeks to come. Yes, and thank you, Jason and Crystal, for sending this one out. Everything that you picked yeah. and sent to us really hit home. For so you guys got us down. Bangers, yes. y'all. And we just kind of chose them at random because we knew they would all be mm-hmm. good. Jason, Crystal, thank you from the bottom Great. of our hearts Great. for believing in our little show at the very beginning and for mm-hmm. keeping it going. Yeah, don't forget your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. You'll smell better just watching this.